Hello. Hi, Laura. How are you? I'm, uh, well, how, what do I say? I'm tired. Oh, yeah, let me uh, get my video here. And here I am. Well, welcome. Yeah, we'll we'll try to keep this. Um, you know, I, I do appreciate people's time. It's been a long day. I'm exhausted as well. <laughs> it's been um been a crazy week, actually, but uh I'm happy to be here. I'm always happy to meet new people, but also uh this is one of the things that I uh really enjoy are giving these presentations of our upcoming uh trips. Um oh. I always uh, put the caveat in there is no obligation if you just want to come and learn that's fine or if you're interested in coming and joining us um even better uh but uh, uh welcome and i think we have another person coming on we just have a small group tonight we had an orientation a few weeks ago and uh, we had roughly about 28 people signed up so quite a bit of interest in uh dominica uh, don't dominica i've been corrected hi kathy Hi there. Let's see. Is my mic on? I guess it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're up and running. I love your background. <laughs> Somewhere I wish to be uh, maybe soon here. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just had a friend get back from uh, the Bahamas and she was on a liveaboard for a week and she said it was absolutely fantastic. I haven't um, talked to her to get all the details, but the pictures that I've seen are really, really terrific. So I can't wait to go again, to be honest. Um, so uh, what I was just saying to Ray is we have a small group tonight. Um and so uh, I do keep my presentations, um, try to keep them on time, as I appreciate all of you um, taking time out of your busy schedule and evenings uh, to join me uh, for these types of meetings and events. Um, so I'm going to give it just another minute or so, and then I'll start the presentation. I always let people know, too, that... Um, I'm somewhat technically challenged at times, so, but I'm getting better at Zoom. Um, we, <clears throat> we had trouble with the video uh, last time. So if that is the case this evening, I'll just tell you what videos they are in, in their, you know, their public material on YouTube anyway, so you can find them, but, um, but we'll see how it goes tonight. Um, yeah, if you just put the link in the chat box or yeah 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 i can i can certainly do that as well they're embedded in in the um in the presentation um but um so uh, my name is laura halleck i'll um i am the group um organizer of the great outdoors adventure group uh we've been on um well on facebook as a facebook group since 2016 and um, so we're excited to new, start a new meetup group. And is that how you found us, Ray? Uh, yes, I uh, am in the process of relocating uh, to the Phoenix area okay. uh, in, in Los Angeles. So I'm um, just, uh, you know, trying to get familiar with the area and um, meet new people, learn a few things. And my friend Sarah and I uh, are always looking for scuba uh, adventures, more her than me. I sent her the link. She probably got off of work soon, so I don't know. If okay. she'll just... Well, it's being recorded, so I'll have okay. the recording available. Yeah, that's the other thing. If people can't make it um, or okay. have technical issues, um, I'm going to have a recording. It will be um, uh, put up on uh, YouTube. Okay. Uh, we have a YouTube channel. So, okay, well, we'll get it started so we can, um, you know, end this on time. So I am going to proceed to um, present. So give me just a moment here. And let's see. Okay. Share screen. So you're both in Phoenix? Uh, I am currently in Los Angeles. I will be in Sun City tomorrow. Okay, I'm in Tucson. And I am in Sun City. Uh, so we might be neighbors. Hey, neighbor. <laughs> All righty. So here we go. I'm just going to um, 
do one setting change here from last time. And let's see. There we go. Okay. Now. And is everybody seeing the slideshow so far? Uh -huh. Okay, good. Excellent. That's always a good start. But here we go. Okay. This is the Great Outdoors Adventures Travel Group. And our motto is dream, explore, and discover. So let me move on. And uh, this is the Dominica. Uh, I was really diving, snorkeling. I got hiking in there twice. I meant to fix that last time. Um, <laughs> uh, adventure uh, in the Southern Caribbean. It's technically in the Eastern, but um, uh, but this is the trip that we are going to be um, talking about um, this evening. It is coming up June 16th to the 24th. And yes, there are uh, still spaces available. So our agenda, uh, we're going to do an introduction to Dominica, the nature island of the Caribbean. Um, and then a um, little bit about the D Dominica's travel and tourism. Then we'll get into the Fort Young Resort and dive Dominica. Um, the Fort Young Resort is where we're staying and their um, on-site dive um, uh, shop is Dive Dominica. Uh, and then we'll get into our all-inclusive diving and snorkeling package. Um, I always put in uh, some of the international travel and logistics. If you're a seasoned traveler, you know, it's kind of repeat, but otherwise um, some good information to know. There are some details that we'll be going into at the end, uh, particular to D Dominica. And then we should have um, a few minutes left over for a uh, for a quick, um, or as long as what you'd like, I'm here, uh, Q&A. But uh, moving on, uh, this is Dominica. This is a video. We'll um, cross our fingers that it's going to work. Uh, so just let me know if it does not, because we won't waste our time on it, then we'll move on to something else. Okay, boom, we call it Dominica. Yes, the nature isle of the Caribbean. It's rum punch time. Oh, we call it Dominica. Is that us? Catherine? Laura, are you there? Laura has frozen. Her screen has frozen. Mm. I hope it's not. Vega cold. juice. So it's just love. Mm. Internet choppy. Uh. Have you been to the Caribbean before? Um, diving, I've just been to, I'm gonna send her a message real quick. See Probably if she gets it in the chat. Probably a good idea. <laughs> oh, I got a new computer laptop in it. Uh oh. Oh, lost oh. or totally. I guess it's just us going. <laughs> you guys you're back. back. Yeah, your screen was freezing along with the, the video. video. Okay. Uh, they, uh, I talked to them about that. So, okay. So it means I got to share screen all over. Well, I'll send you the links to the videos. We won't um, keep going through this all evening. Um, and I'll have to um, talk to Zoom about it again. I did already. Okay. All right, so 
And there we go. There. Okay. We were here. I am listening. I'm just going to be stepping away for a moment. No worries. We call it. No, we're not going to do that. Okay. So this is the island of uh, Dominica. You can see um, very green and mountainous and also as um, typical of the Caribbean, surrounded by the beautiful blue waters. Um, as I um, have said, it is located. I apologize. This isn't the clearest map. Um, but it is located in the Lesser Antilles, which is this curve of uh, islands here. And uh, Dominica is roughly right about here. Um, so about halfway down um, from, um, you know, the Greater Antilles and almost to Venezuela. Well, almost halfway. So um, so it's pretty far, it's pretty uh, remote, um, and that's what keeps it so pristine and uh, wonderful. So um, Dominica, as I said, is in the Lister Antilles, between, uh, located between the islands of Guadeloupe and Martinique. Um, it is the nature island because two-thirds of its terrain um, is tropical rainforest, um, also quite a few, uh, well, it's very volcanic, lots of uh, mountains, valleys, gorges, um, mineral hot springs. It's also, um, uh, you know, contains lots of waterfalls. So if you like waterfalls, you're going to love this place. Um, and they claim to have 365 flowing rivers on this island that is, I believe, uh, 16 miles wide and 28 miles um, long. But um, it uh, has been made famous, actually, from the Pirates of the Caribbean um, movies. Episodes two and three were filmed here. Um, and it is a top scuba diving uh, destination in the Caribbean. Um, and um, so there's a number of wonderful um, dive sites um, that we'll have um, at our disposal. And uh, they will not have, um, you know, loads of... Uh, divers there, I guarantee. Um, it also, um, you know, with the mountains and and um, just, you know, the pristine, um, you know, terrain there, uh, there are approximately 300 miles of hiking trails, if you can believe that. So um, if you love nature and the outdoors and outdoors activities, this is the place for you. So as I said, uh, as a top um, top rated top five diving destination in the Caribbean. These are just a few of the pictures. Um, and if it's a top diving destination, it's likely also top snorkeling. Um, uh, and there are a few uh, snorkeling sites um, located uh, near our hotel. Uh, actually, they have a um, a reef, their own house reef. So, but we'll get to that. I don't want to skip ahead too much here, but. Um, We'll skip this video. Uh, what I can do is the videos that are in this presentation, I can um, send to you uh, in a link uh, to your email. I think that would be the best. Oops. So, so um, what is, uh, I, I think, unique to uh, Dominica is um, they are a, a year-round habitat for sperm whales. And um, they don't know um, really why they're there all year round. They have some theories about it. There's roughly a population, I believe, of about 500 sperm whales. And as of last fall, um, they have officially created a sperm whale sanctuary and reserve and um, the first of its kind uh, really in the world. Um, so that's um, something that we can and we would we will do there is um, the whale watching. Um, we have whale watching tours um, that we can take. So um, unfortunately, we won't be able to see this video. But um, uh, as I said, they have the world's first uh, marine whale sperm whale marine sanctuary and reserve with their 500 resident whales that live there. 
Um, it is a matrilineal um, pod of whales, uh, and they are mostly the females with their offspring. Um, and these whales um, literally stay together uh, all their lives. So this is an interesting uh, video about um, uh, National Geographic's pristine seas and um, starting this um, sperm whale sanctuary. This is uh, a little bit prior to they're actually starting that um, sanctuary. So they're just talking about doing it, but they actually did complete it uh, last fall. So um, as I mentioned, it is um, a mecca for outdoors activities and adventures. Um, some of the um, excursions and tours are Trafalgar, and I'm not sure I'm saying this correctly, but um, Trafalgar Falls, Middleham Falls, Victoria Falls, lots of waterfalls, T2 Gorge, um, some, something that is a little bit more of a strenuous um, hike. But um, nonetheless, um, something that I think is is worth taking in and, you know, not missing is the Boiling Lake. Uh, that's the picture um, in the top right hand corner is Boiling Lake. And it's also um, looking down into the lake is the bottom right hand picture. But um, they also have, um, well, Emerald Pool is supposed to be a beautiful place to go. Um, they um, Dom Dominica has the first a national trail in the Caribbean and it's called the Wait Tukubui. And again, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Um, I apologize. Um, so um, I believe it's 115, something like that miles um, circumference um, on uh, the island of Dom Dominica. Um, if you're into extreme sports, um, cannoning and rappelling is also available. Um, uh, Ray, you're... Um, Coming to Arizona, this is something that a lot of our folks uh, do do here is uh, they love to go. We call it canyoneering. Um, and I've done it. It's a lot of fun. It's a real rush. <laughs> but um, some other land tours and excursions are there's whale and dolphin watching, as I said, um, sea turtle watching, um, bird watching, um, and then I mentioned the Wait Tukabuli. I think I spelled that wrong there. I apologize. Guided, you do it guided. Um, and then kayaking and tubing and boat tours. So you can see the whales in the top left hand picture. Um, just a, a beautiful uh, view of um, the volcanic uh, mountains there on the top right. Um, sea turtles. Um, I have inquired about doing a sea turtle conservation tour. Um, and I can talk a little bit more about that. And then this bird, um, I forget the name of it now. I'm so sorry. It's been a long day, but that is their national bird. Uh, so if you're into birding, um, this is also um, an excellent place uh, to go uh, bird watching. All right, so we'll have to skip that. And um, so as I was um, beginning to say, um, in every trip that I do, um, I'd like to incorporate a little bit about marine conservation. Um, and in Dominica, they call it volunteerism. Um, but there is a sea turtle um, conservation tour that you can uh, do. I've talked to them about it. They said, yeah, no problem. Um, just let us know when. So. Um, but you basically take a few kayaks out to a remote beach, you do some beach cleanup, and then, um, you know, I believe it will be sea turtle um, season there. And so we get to see what they do to help the sea turtles, and uh, we can be a part of that um, that work. So that, to me, that's exciting. It's not exciting to everybody, but, um, you know, I think it, um, it just brings out uh, and makes it real, you know, participating in, in marine conservation and feeling like you're actually uh, helping and contributing and doing something positive. Uh, so we can have fun, but uh, I always like to do something like this as well, if we can fit it in. So anyways, enough said about that. Um, here are some links um, I've pulled together um, to learn about Dominica's travel and tourism. Um, the one I refer to as my go-to is discoverdominica.com. There's literally everything there. Um, 
others. Um, Lonely Planet has a nice guide. And then there's a few articles that I thought were interesting and very informative. And those are the links there. I also have these links in the um, guide that I have, the um, trip description. Uh, all these links should be there as well. So where are we staying? Well, we are staying at the Fort Young Hotel and Dive Resort. Um, it has been there um, 30 years, uh, but it has a lot of historical um, significance to it as it uh, was a um, starting a as a British fort. And then in the years between the competition and the fight with the French, it was British, it was French, it was British, it was French. It kind of changed over to a French fort, but then I'll, then went back to being a British, um, with the, being a British um, territory island. But anyways, so the five-star uh, patty dive shop is uh, Dive Dominica. I am told they have some really excellent um, brand new boats. Um, so um, we'll be very well taken care of. Um, um, this is a video that I have on an introduction to uh, Fort Young Hotel. Again, we'll kind of skip over that for tonight, but I'll, I can forward you um, these videos because uh, it gives you a really good idea of what, what it's like there, what they have to offer, just how beautiful. And it is a, a, a my understanding, a 3.5 to five, four star uh, resort. Moving on. Okay, so some of its accommodations. Um, we will have, at least I have a block of oceanfront rooms, um, and you can request either one king or two doubles. Um, they do have private balconies with um, expansive ocean views. You can see it's right there on the ocean. Um, and, you know, full bathrooms, if that's important to you with a tub. Um, we have refrigerators, coffee makers. We will have a uh, full breakfast daily. Okay, that's included. Um, they have a beautiful swimming pool, infinity pool with a waterfall, uh, gourmet dining. Um, also free Wi-Fi, right? Always good to know if we have Wi-Fi. Um, and unlimited snorkeling, as I mentioned previously, um, they have a shore front house reef and i have a map here coming up but anyways here's some pictures um it was recently remodeled um you know they had a hurricane in 2017 then we had covid uh after that so they've had time to update remodel and just really um you know uh, make it uh, more beautiful and wonderful. I'm sure it was before. I wasn't there before, but, um, but anyways, here's some good shots of the property, including uh, our views from the balcony. But uh, here's the map of the shorefront house reef, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, I look forward to checking that out. Um, so you can snorkel it, or uh, we can also uh, do some independent uh, diving there. Hey, Laura, uh, Catherine had a message in the chat box there. It says, is there a hot tub or a jacuzzi? Uh, not to my knowledge. I would be surprised, though, if they didn't. Let me double check on that. That's a great question. Hot tub. The name of the parrot was the Cicero parrot. There you go. Thank you. I, I had a... Had a senior moment there. I'm like, I can't think of oh, anything. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting an education. I absolutely love it. So I don't mind uh, researching that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I had. And, and I should um, have it written down here for these um, presentations. So uh, thank you for that. Um, I, too, love birds. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, the Cicero parrot and many more. Um, but moving on to the all-inclusive dive and stay package, um, we have uh, seven nights oceanfront accommodations, um, so that's seven nights, five days of two tank diving, uh, one guided night dive, should you, you know, want to do one, I'm not sure I'm, uh, I'm really <laughs> good on for a night dive, I don't know, I'll think about it, um, but your tanks, weights, and belts, um, one thing I didn't have in, in the brochure that I've distributed um, is Nitrox. The, there is a free Nitrox upgrade. My understanding, though, is we need to have a group of six divers, but that's that's our goal here. Um, and um, 
you know, nitrox is always, um, always extra. Uh, and in this case, it would be uh, included. So also included all taxes, uh, ser service charges, marine park fees, yada, yada. That's all included. Um, and then, as I said, we get breakfast uh, daily. Um, and then uh, afternoon tours are also, a few of the tours are also going to be included. And that's the Trafalgar Falls and Tiki Gorge. So that should be a lot of fun. And um, as I mentioned, the shore diving and snorkeling because of their house reef being right there. Um, and then um, also a $50 resort credit per room. I thought that was really nice. And um, our uh, round trip airport transfers are included. So people already have divers licenses going to this trip. If you are coming as a diver, um, you should be licensed, okay? If you're not, you can um, talk to me and I can see what I can work out with the dive shop about getting certified there. You would still do your training um, here, i.e. Your, your classroom. Um, yeah. And um, they could probably do pool work with you there. I'd have to- Laura? But, uh, but you can certify in the location itself, but you have to be licensed to scuba dive. So, um, Laura, I'm a certified PADI instructor. And uh, let me just say, it would be way better if somebody's not certified to do it here in Phoenix. I recommend or, it. Yeah, yeah, I recommend it. You it's, don't want to spend your vacation time going through. It's pretty intense. To do it on location i've done those yeah and, and do it quickly yeah. so that is true and that is what i advise people as well if you can do it and get it done here you're better off it's slightly cheaper just go um lake pleasant is our place to go certify and then you have it you're done and you can just go on a trip like this and just have fun and you're paying a lot of money to come on trips like this. I, you know, I would rather have all the time to dive than to be spending it, like she said, um, doing the training. So, so great, um, you know, great question. Uh, what is not included in this? Um, this is important. <laughs> Your round trip airfare is not included. Rental gear, if you um, don't have your own gear or if you um, don't want to bring it, you can rent it. It's an additional fee. Uh, I'll get a quote from them. Um, also, the additional tours and excursions, and um, if you do hiking, the guided hikes, there will there will be a charge for. Not just you know self hiking. You uh, the guided hikes I'm referencing there. But um, so those are some of the things that'll be extra. Car rental if you want to rent a car. Ground transportation. And then um, other than breakfast, you know, lunches, dinners, any alcohol or non-alcoholic beverages, um, shopping, groceries, um, and then gratuities. Um, at the end, uh, we typically tip the, the dive boat helpers. Uh, they're worth their weight. <laughs> they're, they're, they're a big help. Uh, and our dive masters as well, of course. So um, moving on, I usually um, have this filled out. This is the itinerary and logistic. I'll have it filled out before, um, you know, we leave for the trip. So you have an idea of, you know, what we're doing when. This is only a guide. I, I don't, you know, we do things together and then we have open time as well, right? Uh, and then the excursions are optional. You don't have to go on every excursion with us, um, you know, so just, it's a just a reference, a plan, if you will. Um, other important details. Um, so the water temperature should be in the, the mid 80s. Um, I always advise just, you know, pack a, a three millimeter wetsuit. You can also rent one. Um, what I like to wear uh, even under the wetsuit, if I wear it, is a one millimeter skin suit. Uh, makes the wetsuit go on and off a lot easier. Um, uh, hood, you know, that's really for cooler water. So that's up to you. Gloves. Um, I like to have gloves on if they're allowed, they were not allowed in the Caymans. And, um, I like to just have a little bit of protection for 
in my hands in case, you know, I bump up against something accidentally. We really don't want to touch the corals though. Let me put that in there. <laughs> we don't really want to touch anything. Um, and then a dive light is always good to have for night dives, although I've, I'm sure they're, they're going to either provide that for you or you can rent it. Um, for safety, um, you'll learn this if you're going to go through scuba diving training, but a safety sausage and a whistle are uh, highly recommended in case of um, you know getting separated from your dive buddies um, and in a case of an emergency. Um, on the boat, um, of course, towel. I do recommend Reef Safe Sunscreen, and you can uh, find that on Amazon. Um, and then hat and clothing for some protection. Um, seasickness. This is um, somebody always gets sick every trip. There's always one person because <laughs> um, we don't think we're we're going to get seasick, right? I mean, I I have not so far, but I do carry uh, Dramamine. Um, so there's two over the counter um, medications that you can get. One is Boning, the other one Dramamine um, for seasickness. Um, but if you think you're going to be prone to seasickness, you're pretty sure about it. Um, talk to your doctor. Um, uh, I have a couple of, of gals that have come on my trips and they get something called the patch and it's a prescription. So you just put that on your neck. Uh, they typically put a waterproof bandaid over it to make sure it doesn't, you know, fall off in the water and they keep that on and no seasickness. They literally yeah, do not get scopolamine patch. There you go. And yeah. it does work and it works 24 seven. I think you have to maybe change it. You have to look at what the directions are from, from the prescription. But I mean, we've, we've had, you know, a little bit of rough water from time to time and they were fine. So, so that's very important. Also, when you're on the dive boat, pack all your gear in a dive bag, put your name on it. Sometimes there's a lot of people on the dive boat. You don't want to get your stuff mixed up with others. Um, if you're going to bring any personal items like, uh, phones or anything that's electronic, um, or, or just stuff that you want to keep, you know, from getting soaking wet, I recommend a water resistant dry sack. You can also find those on Amazon or REI has some good ones. Um, what else here? Uh, cash, they seem to be more focused on taking cash, but, um, the, thankfully the U S dollar is always accepted. And also you can bring a credit card. Credit cards are accepted. Um, one thing that's particular to Dominica as well is um, your electricity is 220. So we will need to bring an adapter. Um, if you forget to bring one, I'm, I'm sure we can, you know, get some help. But um, if you have one, all the better. This makes it easier. Um, and then um, it is going to be, um, you know, a tropical island. Um, you know, it's common for, you know, rain to come up, uh, in the afternoon or just, you know, so it, just expect rain. <laughs> it doesn't last long, comes in, it rolls out, you know, uh, and just, you know, pack a little bit of rain gear and some insect repellent, I was told. Um, and then last detail here, there, the airport that, um, is our main airport that we should be, you know, looking at flying into, right? If you're shopping for airline tickets right now, uh, the code, airport code is D-O-M. And American does have uh, direct flights from Miami, which is what I've done. Um, but uh, check and see what other airlines are offering. Uh, I'm flying American, I typically do. And I have only one stop um, in Miami and then I go straight to Dominica from there. So what does this cost? All right. So for this adventure, uh, all inclusive, um, the total price is uh, $15.18 for divers and $1,019 for non-divers. It is based on double occupancy though. Okay. Um, and these are oceanfront rooms. So um, I got the oceanfront. Uh, forms of payment. Um, you can send your payment, um, PayPal, Venmo, or Zelle. I will, um, I have a um, separate document that I can send you with that information. Uh, to confirm a reservation, a deposit is required. Um, it is $100 per, per person or $200 per room. Um, it's refundable up until 90 days, but we're coming up on that really soon here. So um, 
uh, payment in full is due by 60 days. And um, yeah, so and then, you know, the um, cancellation refund policy, it, it will be subject to the policy of the dive resort. And that's about it there. You'll get a confirmation of your reservation. Um, international travel and logistics. Um, you will need a valid U.S. passport um, and valid for six months. Okay. Um, if you don't have a passport, um, you know, I would uh, quickly get one. Um, the average time um, last I looked into it, which was just recently, is, is they're back to four to six weeks. They got backed up there for a while. Um, and, you know, you can always get the expedited service. I did expedited and they were expedited. I got it really quickly. I was I was very happy, except I paid a lot, of, lot more money for it. But uh, I had peace of mind that I had my passport for last year's Cayman's trip. Um, but anyways, that's the um, uh, website. I believe now you they are back to uh, allowing you to renew online. Um, and then um, a tourist visa, you know, let me double check on that because I don't think a tourist visa is required. Uh, I don't think we need um, any visas, so I'll double check on that. Um, and then we don't have to show proof of vaccinations. Um, that's, um, I think this is information I need to update from the Cayman Islands. So um, but anyways, moving on. Uh, dive insurance, um, you will find if you become a diver or you um, have been a diver, some places require it. Other places recommend it. This place recommends it, but doesn't necessarily require it. I say do it and get it. Most people that I know that are divers uh, do get uh, DAN, Divers Alert Network. And um, it's not expensive. That's the other good thing. Uh, yearly membership is the first fee you pay, and then you pay for your insurance plan. And I get the master plan. Uh, roughly for $42 and it renews yearly. So, and there's a link. Uh, I provide a link again in the, the trip event um, description that if you want to get Dan, you can click on that. Um, the other thing I do highly recommend, especially these days, because uh, it's still pretty, pretty nutty out there in the uh, travel logistics world uh, with the airlines. Um, but it's travel insurance um, that protects you uh, against trip cancellations, interruptions, if they lose your bags or your bags are just late, temporarily lost, or even stolen. Um, medical, um, you know, I, I'm not aware of, um, you know, my insurance covering me for international. So double check on that, but this will cover you for uh, any medical unexpected illnesses including COVID, although I'm not sure that that's, um, you know, too much. I, well, we did have some COVID going on. Anyways, the policies last I was um, looking at, which was last uh, for our last trip, they did include COVID. Um, and then any accidents or injuries um, unrelated to the diving, right? Um, because with Dan, you'll be covered with um, accidents related to the diving. So it can happen. You can slip and break a leg. There was uh, somebody on our cruise in January, and I believe it was a gentleman, and he slipped and he broke an arm and a leg all at the same time. So they were calling for him on the ship, last call, got to get back, and he couldn't make it back because he was in the hospital. <laughs> so it can happen. All right, health and safety, travel restrictions, uh, again, uh, this is uh, past COVID, thankfully, um, but, you know, just take the precautions, have hand sanitizer at, at the very least. Um, and then how do you sign up for this? Um, you can um, RSVP at the Great Outdoors Adventures uh, group. Uh, we're also on Meetup right now. We're a new Meetup group. Um, this event has been hosted as well at the 3H Hiking Club. And um, so either one of those places, um, or you can just contact me directly. And um, there is my contact information. Uh, I am also a Dominica uh, specialist. I've uh, done their destination training and um, 
But anyways, that's how you can get a hold of me. Okay. And I think we're doing good. Any questions? Let me exit out of the presentation so we can see one another again. So. There we go. I have one. Where am I? Stop share. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. I tell you, I'm sometimes a little technically challenged, but I do figure it out eventually. So, um, all right. Um, apologize that the videos uh, were not fully functionable. Um, I'll need to go back to Zoom. It might be that I just need to update the version that I have. So, but we'll figure it out uh, for future. Um, anyways, questions, any questions on this? I hope you're excited because I am. Kathy. Yes, I have several. Let's see, I was trying to wait till you were done with everything. So <laughs> Thank you. Remember them all. Um, what is, what does the $50 hotel credit, uh, what, what can you purchase and use that for? I imagine food at the hotel. They have a restaurant there. You know, I'm I'm going to make the assumption and I'll see if they can provide us any more details on that. But I would assume you could apply that just like you would if you're on a cruise. But you can apply that to excursions. You can apply that to anything that would be on your hotel bill <laughs> and take $50 okay. off your bill. Right. It could be food. It could be, oh, maybe you went to their didn't say they had a gift shop, but say they do, and you made some purchases. So uh, it's it didn't say that it was only for X or only for this. It just said a resort. So at for your spending at the resort. Okay. And kind of connected to the hotel, because I have some non-hotel questions. But um, what's the status of the water there? Is it drinkable or do they have bottled water or filtered water or? Mm. Um, water, let me check on that. Um, it, this is what, it came up uh, last year with our Cayman's trip as well. Somebody was really nervous about drinking the water. Um, there was no issues, okay? Um, when you're traveling to a major, you know, destination, um, uh, it's not Mexico. Okay. So I'll just double check and see if there's any precautions to the water. Um, but I'm not aware of any issues with the water. Okay. So okay. that's on my, my to-do list here, Kathy. And that's uh, in addition to confirming they have a hot tub and a jacuzzi. I got that one from earlier. <laughs> I don't Maybe. want to monopolize the Q and A here. Somebody else wants. I have a couple more, but Ray or Travis, Travis, welcome. Anyone else want to hop in and particularly about the resort or the dive package? No, it seems. I mean, is that like really inexpensive? That <laughs> is a great price. That is it's, a great price. It's all inclusive. Yeah. It's like the um the well, majority of the the price is going to go towards the uh the plane ticket getting there. Plane tickets are not going to be cheap. Yeah, this is you know, obviously no direct flight from Phoenix, right? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, yeah. we always need to um pretty much always need to uh, connect to a major international hub. So if you're going. You know, Pacific, you're going to go to LA or San Francisco. If you're going east, then it's Dallas or Houston or Miami. Sorry, I got to grab this. Sorry. Okay. So great questions. It is, um, you know, one of the lesser uh, traveled, I would say. So, I mean, um, you're going to have more flights um, to destinations that are more um, well-known, if you will, like the Caymans. You're going to have more options. When you have more options, you know, it's, you know, the economies of scale, they can bring the prices down. Um, but, um, you know, I, I recommend purchasing your airline tickets way in advance. And I mean, like six to nine months in advance is really the best. 
Um, but, you know, look at the terms and conditions of the ticket as well. Um, you know, if it's not refundable, what are the terms and conditions if you need to change that flight and, you know, the trip's not, you know, going or you decided to change your mind, what are your options to rebook that flight to go somewhere else? So, yes, Kathy. What's the trip capacity? How many people um, are currently signed up? How, what's the maximum? And as far as doing hiking, are they going to be easy hikes or moderate? And I mean, I wonder what people are different, um, able to do different physically active levels of exactly. hiking and so forth, like strenuous, moderate, or. Um, yeah. Well, uh, let me address the hiking first. Um, it's it's going to be easy to moderate. Okay. But that is, you know, subjective, right? <laughs> like what's easy and moderate to one may not be to another, but um, yeah, they're not supposed to be difficult hikes. The only one that they do say is more challenging and will take more time to do like six to seven hours is the boiling lake. Okay. So you can figure that's, a, you know, more of a strenuous um, hike that maybe you feel comfortable doing and maybe not, you know, assess your abilities in your fitness. Um, but otherwise, um, no, they're, they're not going to be, you know, too strenuous. Um, now as for the group, I have a block of rooms, um, um, up to 12 people. I will not be able to hold all those rooms, uh, without deposits after March 17th. Now, um, right now, I guess have... some of it is limited by the dive boat too. Well, how many divers? So, because the dive boat can only take so many divers. Well, they know we're registered. Well, let's just say they're not going to not have room for us on the boat if we've got booked rooms as divers. This is a dive and stay package. We'll be on the boat. <laughs> okay, I'm a former boat captain. That's that's, that's a. You can under, just under that one near off. coastal boat captain here and submarine captain. So yeah, there are limits of I know there's limits, the but they're not going to not put us on the boat. <laughs> Book <laughs> us a room and charge us for a dive package and then not take us out on the boat. This is not gonna happen. So well but, yeah. but that's a good question. <laughs> you know, <it's> like, appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> we have 12 rooms and we have 24 people and you know, I, I mean, I hope that it's not. Well, don't overanalyze have, it. I, I know you're. A, a it looks like, it looks like a really nice. So let's not overanalyze it, things here. <laughs> it looks like a really nice boat, though. It was. Yeah. Looked better than what I was expecting. So. Yeah. 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 They had nice ones, too, for um, what is uh, Ocean Frontiers is who we dove with in the Caymans. And the same thing. They had really nice dive boats. So that's always a plus. Mm -hmm. So, and we always had room on the boat. So <laughs> <laughs> what, what matters course. is, you know, that you have your group of divers with a, you know, not too big a group of divers per the dive master. I think that's kind of, um, so, but, um, we, we don't do more than five, six people per dive master. So. And then the non-divers are pretty much, uh, on their own to uh, schedule excursions? Well, um, how it works for the snorkelers, yes, you can come on the dive boats with us. Um, there will be- um, You need a license for snorkeling? I'm sorry. No. Be clear. No. no. So okay. you can, um, you know, you're free to, um, you know, spend the time snorkeling on your own. Like I said, there is a house reef that you can do snorkeling there's also snorkeling sites nearby or you can come on the boat with us if you come on the boat with us there is going to be um a fee for that okay i do have information on that um but otherwise you can go anywhere you want um and do, uh, is do anywhere... just a buddy with you though go ahead yeah yeah i'm sorry to interrupt you no uh, i'm sorry is, is it anywhere you want um uh accessible <laughs> 
Or, um, or no, no, not everywhere is accessible. So there are snorkeling sites, and then there are sites that are better uh, to access by boat. So oh, okay, got it. Maybe you don't want to go on the boat every day with us. Uh, maybe you only want to go to certain sites. You know that you'd have to talk talk it over with the dive um, shop. They they sometimes don't know where they're going till till the moment they leave. So that might be difficult to, you know, weather really dependent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what about the double occupancy you mentioned? I mean, um, it would certainly be, be great if, if uh, Sarah were to join, but uh, if I decided to do this and, and I didn't have, are you matched with somebody? I mean, how? We can try to match you with someone. If we have another male solo traveler, Right. Um, then yeah, I'd introduce you to him. You can kind of see, well, you think we could, you know, room together. I made the introductions. Uh, we had uh, two gentlemen come last year and they headed off and they were like best buddies the whole trip. Oh, great. <laughs> and uh, so it worked out really well. So if you don't have a friend, spouse, significant other that can make it, yes, we can certainly try to do that for you. And then if that doesn't happen, are you stuck with the dump paying double or how does that work? Well, then you would go to the single occupancy rate and right. it is it is significantly higher. Uh, we can, you know, maybe um, say, well, it'll, if you go with a mountain view room, be slightly cheaper. If you're okay with that, you can save a few dollars or should, you know, go in with the ocean front, which is always the most expensive, right? right. It's always a premium room. Uh, but, you know, we can look at things like that. Got it. Okay. But the whole travel industry really um, is based on double occupancy. Yep. Unfortunately. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, occasionally I see, uh, you know, oh, no single, um, they call it single supplement, no single supplement, um, you know, extra price, which is really a plus, but I don't see that very often. Usually it's, it's, it's built into a special deal and promotion but not, not very often. Thank you so much, Laura. Uh, it was very Let's nice go. meeting you, Catherine, uh, you as well. Hello to Travis coming in and um, be certainly uh, looking at this and passing this on. If you have um, an email, I can send you the trip uh, description. I think I gave it to you on the website uh, through the Did you? Website. Okay. Okay. I will but look I can that give it up. To, mm -hmm. I can go ahead and give it to, I'll drop it in the, um, in the I'll chat drop in your host okay uh, Apologize. I'm, I'm not too good at keeping up with the chat at the same time as giving the presentation oh that's fine <laughs> so um so i just put it in the chat box for you but it does save the chat so i can go back and review it after the meeting but um but yeah i'd be happy to send you the trip description um that's it has good. everything in there um and then, you know, you can take a look at that. So I will need uh, a deposit by March the 17th. And then the payment in full is going to be due. Let me give you that date real quick before we close. That is going to be uh, April the 17th. Okay. So payment is due in full at 60 days. And then we're already coming up on, you know, 90 and 60 days. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Nice to meet you guys. And if you have any other questions, you can always uh, shoot me an email. And um, and thank you for letting me share this with you. It's always a lot of fun. Thank you, Laura. You're welcome. Thank nice you. meeting you guys. Bye. Nice seeing you. Bye. Bye. Bye.